Hi beautiful people, it's me Sherelle with Fashionarily and I am going to take out my passion twist with you and detangle my hair. I started already as you all see and then I was like, you know what, let's do this on camera. Let me show you all how I detangle my hair. I don't know if you all saw my last video but I said that I had passion twists for like two days and I wasn't sure if I was going to recommend them or not until I had them over time to see what I think because I saw so many negative reviews about having passion twists and the takedown process and um I don't see what they were talking about I think if you do the whole when they twist when you get them done you twist and you go like that and you twist and you go like that maybe that's what is the difference I didn't do that I just twisted it all the way down I didn't like yank it up and get my hair knotted within it so um, if you don't do that I highly recommend passion twists my hair loved them I could have easily kept them in for two months but I kept them in for a month and a half and so I will continue to get them they were easy to put in it's definitely a DIY hairstyle I don't feel like I need to go pay anyone to do that yeah it took me a long time but it almost lasted me two months and really if I really really wanted to I'm pretty pretty sure I could make them last about three months like the hairstyle was just so fine it didn't get frizzy after two weeks like people were telling me I didn't have that issue and then when they did get old it was like um so it, it made it look even better to me it gave me that Lisa Bonet um vibe when they had them like kind of fluffy and frizzy I felt very bohemian you know so I didn't mind it I didn't need them to be nice and smooth for the entire duration of having them but um I love them so yeah I recommend getting passion twist as a protective hairstyle so as you all see I took down just a little bit I cut them first I didn't cut them to where my hair started because I know with hair braids and twists and stuff sometimes it can kind of trick you with, especially with passion twists because once they start getting frizzy the whole twist starts looking frizzy so you're not really sure where your hair starts and stops so I just cut them at a length that I knew my hair wasn't I know my hair isn't this long so yeah I don't want to take the whole twist down that would be unnecessary time so I cut them to a reasonable length and I'm just untwisting so far this section took about 20 minutes to take down so I estimate that this whole entire process is going to be about an hour. I saw another YouTuber, ouch should just hit me an eye, I saw another YouTuber recommend a pre-poo African Pride product. She recommended this Moisture Miracle by African Pride. It's a pre-shampoo. I've never used a pre-shampoo but I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah, so I'm going to give this a shot and anytime I recommend anyone or any products or tips that I got from anyone, I'll put their name and their link to the channel in the description box because a lot of this stuff helps me and I want to be able to then give the information to you all. But yeah, I'm going to give that a shot after I take these out. Side note, but I have an extremely bad cold right now and I was taking like black sea oil and vitamin D and I just ramped up on my vitamins and stuff and then I put on a little bit of makeup took a nice little long 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 shower just to feel better get the steam going through and um, I feel okay I'll probably do a, a review on this whole black seed oil journey that I'm on right now because I don't know y'all this stuff was pretty powerful and pretty good but anyway, back to the hair. I'm going to take these out. I'm not going to sit here and talk and film, but child, honey, I can talk the whole time if you let me. But I'm not going to do that. I will literally talk to the wall. I am such an extrovert. So um, I'm going to probably just fast forward through this as I take my hair down. And then I will come back and show you all how I detangle. Okay, 
I'm finished. I have everything taken out. Here's my hair. It is filthy. And I am going to now detangle and put the pre pull in my hair. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Hold on. Where is my water bottle? So I'm going to fill my water bottle up with only water. And I am going to just use Aussie Moist. I like this to detangle. But first, I have an oil mixture that I just want to get into my scalp and massage. So I have a grapeseed oil, almond oil, sweet almond oil, um, black seed oil, and I have coconut oil mixed all in here. Oh, and castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil. So I have grapeseed oil, black Jamaican castor oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and that is it. So four different oils in here. So I'm gonna put that all in my scalp and just like massage it in because um, I don't know, I just like how it lubricates my hair. And that's it, you know, I, I, there's no really real reason why I do this, but I just like my hair and my scalp to be nice and oiled when I um, detangle. It takes a long time to detangle my hair. It's probably going to take about two hours, maybe an hour. I would say two hours because it's very tangled right now. And, um, oh, how do I get my hair on my face? <laughs> and, um, I don't want to rip any hair out unnecessarily. And you know how when you have braids or something in your hair it gathers the little dirt at the scalp let me see if i can pull because i was kind of taking it out as i was doing it let me see but you know like at the beginning of where you start braiding yeah i took it out most of it. i kind of like wiggled it out like that for the most part so you can't really see let's see i know it's one in here yeah like right here right at the beginning all of that if you don't if you're not too careful you can rip out hair because shed hair has gathered in there and you don't want your shed hair to latch onto the hair that grew out your new growth and pull everything out so it's going to be like a two hour process for me just to detangle because i'm going to go through each one spray water and put some aussie moist and slowly detangle with my fingers so be right back let's let me get some water and get started all right i'm gonna get close up put my hair back a little bit and just show you how i'm going to do this so i have water just spray a little water get it wet put a little aussie moist And for me, Aussie Moist, it just makes my hair just so much easier to detangle for a very affordable price. It's not all natural, so a lot of people may not like that. But for me, just to wash it right out, I'm fine with the little $3. Just $3 bottle just to like detangle and rinse it out. Like this is fine for me. I don't care. And so I'm just going to do this very gently all throughout my hair. So now you see why <laughs> it's going to take a long time. I want to minimize shedding as much as possible. And so let me show you. So just from that little bit, for having my hair up for, I would say six weeks, so a month and a half, that little bit has come out of that one. Now if I was to sit here and comb or brush, oh my gosh, I don't know how much will come out, <laughs> you know? So boom, one part done. Then I'm just gonna pull each little section little by little and do the same thing all through. Water, get it nice and wet all the way through. Aussie Moist. And it just dissolves all of that product that was caked up at the beginning of the twist. So for me, I did a braid and then I went into the twist. So for me, it was the braid. And that's it. And I'm going to do that very gently all throughout my hair. So now you can see why this is going to take a long time. I mean, I can rush through if I want, but I'm not going to do that. And I'm just going to pull little by little because my hair is still very much in its section like it was in the braid because I didn't, I didn't, um, I did not comb my hair out. I just took it out. So for the most part, it's still in each section. 
So I can just pull it back, pull each section down because I didn't comb anything out and just detangle. So I'm gonna do that. Show you one more time, some water. Get it nice and wet. This is very crinkly. Don't wanna make it uncrinkly <laughs> as possible. I don't want no definition. I want it nice and wet. I want the water to just soak through as much as possible. Look, I need a little bit more water in this area. That one was dry, honey. Very dry. Okay, so this is a really good example of a tangle. This one was very tangled. I need more water. And use as much water as you need it. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no, oh, that's too much. No, girl, show your hair. Do what you gotta do. I see moist. And just gently detangle. I'm sure a detangling brush or a wide tooth comb would speed this process up, but I know that my hair has been put up for a very long time. Six weeks is a long time for me, so I know it's very fragile. And I've talked about how my hair just don't like being combed anyway, so I'm not even about to do that until everything is nicely detangled with my fingers. A comb will literally rip out my hair at this point, so no going to softly detangle. If it take two hours, it take two hours, whatever. I'll just wash my hair tomorrow then. There we go. Just do that all the way through. So that's one detangled part. And that took what, maybe like what, five minutes? So yeah, I'm gonna estimate two hours of doing this and I'll come back. <laughs> tangled everything I'm just gonna wash this out real quick and put the pre poo in because right now this is just a hot mess it's dirty it has conditioner oil uh, water this is not clean hair so I'm gonna rinse it out and then do the pre poo so I'll be right back all right so it's all rinsed out and now I have like semi clean hair but it's not very clean to me so now I'm going to do the pre poo Mind you, I've never tried pre poo before. I just normally, I just normally condition it and then put it in four sections and you know detangle it and wash it and then go straight into shampoo. But because my hair has been put up for about six weeks, I'm gonna do a pre poo and just try this product out. And honestly, I. I tried to detangle as much as possible, but I feel like I could do a little bit more. So now this is just like a little, another step, just to make sure my hair is thoroughly detangled because my hair just rips out if I use any type of styling tool. So I just wanna make sure I don't have any unnecessary breakage once I'm ready to style my hair. And once everything is detangled, I'll probably just wear it as a wash and go for a few weeks just to let my hair breathe. And after that, I'll probably get knotless braids. So I'm gonna put it into, oh, I can finally get my hair in four sections, y'all. Ha! But um, I couldn't get my hair in four sections. Remember, it was always six. I can do four now. My hair is long enough now to do four sections. So I'm gonna put it into four sections, just like she did in her video. And I'm gonna put the pre-poo up. Okay. I'm gonna put the pre -poo. I'm gonna put the pre poo in each four section, each of the four sections, and just kind of like rake it through and make sure everything needs to be tangled properly. So, yeah. Do that. Do that. 
look at that. I got it in four sections. Ooh. I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all if in case you didn't understand me. But I'm obsessed with how much people shed hair. Because I feel like I always shed a lot of hair. So this is how much hair I lost. It's about a handful of hair. Yeah. I don't know. Is that normal? Like, I don't know. Anyway. I'm a shedder. I just shed hair. I don't know why. Okay. This smells very good. Oh my gosh, it smells good. I even bought the shampoo. Y'all know I'm not a product, product junkie. I'm not at all. I buy stuff and that's just about it. I try it until it runs out. I do not keep buying stuff over and over again. So when I saw her post about this, I was like, you know what? That'll be something good to try after having my hair up for so long. And wow, I see why she likes it. Yeah. My hair is just, it just glides through my hair. Now, this is nothing I could use solely to detangle with. I could tell you that right now. See, like right here, here's a little detangle, a little tangle right here, a little knot. So, yeah, I just feel like I could do a little bit more. So, that's why I want to try this pre poo. And I just feel like when you have braids, especially braids, oh my gosh. You just want to make sure when you take them down, everything is properly detangle take your time all in all this process is probably going to take me about four hours but you got to make time for that don't rush through detangling your hair you'll have unnecessary breakage you're already going to have breakage from your hair being up for so long but you want to make sure a protective style is just what it is a protective style not something that damages your hair so be gentle you know i i really feel like we're just not taught how to properly manage our hair because we're living in a, a society who don't know how to manage our hair. Like, I mean, if you think about regular cosmetology school, I bet their section, I don't know, so don't quote me, but I bet their section of natural hair is probably like one week long compared to the entire, I don't know, just say for example, it's 12 week long cosmetology school. It's probably like one week long. Do you even learn about natural hair in cosmetology school? Someone please tell me. And if so, what state are you in? Because I'm pretty sure it's not taught in depth. So we don't really even know that we have to just be very gentle with our hair. We think we could just start combing it and doing all types of stuff like when we have relaxers and you can't. You just can't. So be gentle with your hair and make time for it. And yeah, it, it's a lot of time. I ain't about to sit here and be like, oh, just do this and do that and it'll, you'll be fine. No, it's a lot of time and a lot of money wasted. Just like with us trying to figure out what type of makeup matches us. We got to go through all this type of, all of these different types of shades of makeup, lipstick, eyeshadow, just to see what color matches our skin because we're not really privy to the information of what goes on to our skin complexion because in commercials, we're not what we see. So we see the commercials of who's on there, which are typically lighter, fair skinned women. And we think, oh, we can wear that. And then we put it on, it's like, oh, this shit is ugly. And this ain't it, this ain't it. And BET did a really good special on that on their channel. And I was like, wow, that goes the same for natural hair. We don't know what to put in our hair. So we keep buying products, buying products, buying products. We just don't know. So in the natural hair community, we gotta help each other out. So my tip is be gentle with your hair. It's going to take a long time. It took me two hours just to detangle with my fingers. And yes, yeah, sometimes detangling with your fingers is better than a comb or some type of brush because your fingers are very forgiving. A brush is just gonna run right through it. A comb is just gonna run right through it. So yes, that is my rant for today. But I like this product. It's helping a lot. It's helping, it's making me feel like, okay, this is the final form of detangling. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is about to go on my top. Thank goodness she posted this. I'm definitely definitely going to link her channel in the box, in the description box, because I'm pretty sure y'all know her anyway. She's very popping. So, but yeah, this, this is great. I like this. Staple product for sure. After braids for sure. I'm just gonna put a little bit more water in here in my hair 
to make the product go in. I feel like my hair is getting dry, so the product isn't going into my hair as much as I want it to be. What are your problem areas? My problem areas are the middle of my head. The middle of my head is <laughs> my mother. I remember as a child, she used to always say that was like the thickest part of my hair. Now I'm noticing my middle of my hair is very fine. So it tangles very easy. It's totally different from when I was a child. And I wonder why the texture of the middle of my hair is so different from everything else. And it tangles so easy. Really gotta be careful with the middle of my hair. I mean, it will just break off. All right, my hair beauties, I am all done detangling. That's how I detangle my hair. I love this product for sure. And it's a pre-poo, so it's not one of those, oh, let me try it and I'll come back and tell you. You know it immediately with the pre-poo if you're gonna like it or not. I like it. I like the texture, I like how it glides right through my hair. I absolutely like it as a second step to detangling. So you can do whatever you want to do to do your initial detangle when you take down your braids or your twist or any protective style. And then this is like that final step before shampooing because you know when you shampoo and you go in all like that and all you're doing is causing more knots and tangles. So this is great to just be like, okay, I want to make sure everything is detangled before I go in there and shampoo my hair. So yes, this will become a staple product for me at my local beauty, beauty supply store, I think it was $6, which is probably expensive, but I live in New York City, so whatever. But that's a good price for me to make this a staple product. Yeah, so I am all done. Got a little water. Oh no, that's the product, anyway. <laughs> but thanks for stopping by and detangling with me. I'm going to do my three year update shortly, so I'm probably gonna use some of the footage from this video for that video and do like a voiceover but thanks for detangling with me enjoy your weekend or your week to come and i love you all